It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills, next on Madden NFL 25. We are 20 minutes south of downtown Buffalo. It is Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park, New York. A good one here in the AFC East. So glad you're with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, for years, this division was dominated by the Patriots, winning 16 of the possible 17 years. For the last four, it's belonged to Buffalo under Sean McDermott. Now, though, this seems like it's anyone's division. No question. I mean, you mentioned the Patriots. Obviously, they have one of the greatest traditions of winning in the history of the NFL. New coach, new era. We'll see how that unfolds. You mentioned Buffalo. But I think if right now, if I'm a New York Jets fan with Aaron Rodgers back under center healthy and what Mike McDaniel is building down in Miami, you said it. This is really a division that over the years was a one-horse race. And now, I think all four of these teams entering the season think this division goes through them. On the return, it's Ty Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds on the return. And the drive will begin there. So out come the Bills and the face of the franchise. 28-year-old Josh Allen. Year seven already with Buffalo. The last four years, over 4,000 passing yards in each. The man who makes this team go. I feel like every time I watch him, I come away with this, like, throwback feel. I mean, the way he plays the position, he is not going to look to slide. He is not looking to avoid contact. He kind of plays this game like it was played years ago at the quarterback position. And now, Mike, let's be honest. It's very easy to do it when you're usually one of the biggest guys in the field, the fastest guys in the field, and has the biggest arm. So the physical traits allow him to play that style, but... He is just a blast to watch and somebody you can just tell truly loves playing the game. They run with the third-year man. It's James Cook. And he's very close to first down yardage. They're going to mark him shy, though, at the 48. Trying to avoid the early three and out. They face third and a yard. with Cook trying to drive his way forward I think he is short and he is that means fourth down coming up depending on the situation or the down and distance Mike the linebackers have different reads sometimes they read the offensive lineman sometimes they read the running back in this case his read brings him right to the play he's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. The Dolphins come out on offense, and the lefty, Tua Tagovailoa. He led the NFL a year ago in passing yardage. Hard to believe this is season five already from Alabama. Greg Tua, 26 years old, and his time is now. He's going to lead his team to a win. He has to be smart with his decision-making. The last thing you want to do is give the opposing team an extra possession solely because you got reckless with the ball. As long as he is calculated with those risks, I think they have a good chance today coming out on top. Here's a second and six. Shotgun snap to two. Hit as he throws and is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Hill brought in motion. Throwing on third down, Tungo Barroa. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The offense just couldn't seem to get anything going that drive. They knew they had a long way to go, taking over possession that deep in their own territory. You want to pick up that first down and see if you can capitalize some momentum 
Instead, the errant throw he brings up fourth down, and they're going to have to punt it away. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. Now, following the punt return, we have an injured player on the field. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. Set to go now on first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That's taken in by Shakir. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. They'll come up here on second down and five. From the gun, Josh Allen. Jalen Ramsey, he is tough to throw on. They're going to bat that one away. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. When you look back last year and the Buffalo Bills went on their late season run to the playoffs, it really was getting the ball in the hands of James Cook. 44 catches last year in year two, more than double his rookie year. He's going to continue to be a big-time player alongside Josh Allen. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Again, it's Allen to the air. A short throw punt by Kincaid. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Allen going to throw again. That's to Kincaid once again. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Here's a third down and four. One more time going up top with Allen. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man-beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do.
They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. He slams it in there, and he is in. Ray Davis, touchdown, Bills. When you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. The extra point by Bass is good. And the Bills will take a 7 nothing lead. kick it off on the return Malik Washington and this will work out quite well he'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line the Dolphins offense ready to take over for their second possession they were forced to punt the first time through it led to a touchdown so down 7 nothing as they get the ball back for first and 10 He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. Out of the gun, Tungle Barrow. To the left side, in the hands of Hill. And nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. No need much. It is third and inches. Now some movement up front. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time here today. They get the veteran to run Armstead. Here's third down and a few inches. Hill brought in motion. Two and now on third down. That one caught by Smith. They get 15 on that game. First down, Miami. These third down conversions are just so important. Mike, everybody stresses we want to possess the ball. Give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. They'll come up here first and ten. Tua gives it to Mostert. Able to break a tackle as he powers forward for you. Here's a second and nine. In motion comes Beckham. Now the second-year man, Devon HM. And he'll get them five yards closer, but now third down coming up. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. Taking off, he'll try to get there. First down. He'll look middle here. It's caught by Hill. 
And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three fourth time. Hill brought in motion. Play action. Tuggle by Lola. Now he'll run. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. And a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off. Turn into a runner pick up the first down so here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20 in motion it's waddle down inside the 10 and he will score jalen waddle touchdown dolphins we all make such a big deal, Mike, when we see a quarterback go through his progression and deliver a deep downfield strike for a touchdown. But sometimes just take what's easy, the easy pitch and catch, get an underneath completion. That's exactly what the quarterback does here, takes what the defense gives them. And when you have a playmaker like that on the outside, they can do the rest with their feet after the catch. And the end result is still a touchdown. The extra point by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. We're all tied. Seven apiece. And the kick's away. Johnson now to return. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. So now here comes the Buffalo offense heading back out onto the field. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. On play action, Allen. That's to the rookie from Florida State, Keon Coleman. And they will bring him down on the other side of the midfield. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike. And it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page. And the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry. Because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. So they come to the line for first down and ten. Man in motion here is Hollins. They'll set up the screen to Cook. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Just a little slow developing on that screen play there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. From the gun, it's Allen. Pass complete, right side to Kincaid. Four catches already in this opening quarter. Off to a hot start as he picks up the first down. A design run here for Allen. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. Harris Evans on the scoreboard. More after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Out of the gun, here's Allen. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. The tight end, Kincaid, in motion. 
Allen on third down. And that is incomplete. Amari Cooper was the man he was looking for. And now it's fourth down. It's just so hard to be a good offense in the NFL, Mike, when you are not good on third down. Your inability to extend drives, it either puts a lot of pressure on your coaches to be aggressive on fourth down or simply punt or kick a field goal. You have to maintain possession and give you more facts to score touchdowns. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. So after the made field goal, Bass is back out there to kick it away. Devon Achan to return it. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Now, Tua and the Miami offense head out for their next possession. From the 25, they'll go to work first and 10. In motion, it's Waddle. On the ground, it's Mostert to start this drive. He'll be stopped after a pickup of about three. Big Ed Oliver there on the tackle. They face second down and seven. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. Throwing is two. It's to the left side and taken in by Smith. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. From the gun, here's Tua. He'll try and get there on the ground. A first down on the scramble. A gain of 16. And here's a great example of why the pass rush on third down, that it's critical it gets home. In this case, they're not able to get to the quarterback. He has extra time to not only escape the pocket, but to turn into a runner and pick up the first down. Here's first and ten. Hill brought in motion. On play action, it's Tuggle Ballow. Open man downfield, Tyreek Hill. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike. And of course, that's a given. But it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. Well, fake the hand. Now, two. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill there. And that will lead to a second down. In motion comes Beto. Off play action, it's Tua. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. Sometimes Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. A shotgun snap for two. And that is incomplete. Great pass rush 
rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. Sanders' kick is good. And the Dolphins will level the score at 10 apiece. And that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game. So the field goal ties things up, and we're back at it as this kicks away. Johnson now to return. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. The Bills offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They'll see if they can go out breaking our tie. We're all even at 10 as this drive begins. First and 10. That one complete to Hollins. Enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. On the zone read, a handoff here to cut. And that'll be a gain of two and a first down. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down, knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll keep it on the ground with Cook. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. He'll try again here. Second and 10. Man in motion here is Hollins. On second down, here is Allen. He finds Hollins on the ground. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Third and a yard. From the gun, Josh Allen. And that is incomplete. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. And this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. That's caught on the right side by Waddle. And he's got it to the 35-yard line. We've really seen both teams have a lot of success moving the ball throughout this entire first half, and just seems this possession is going to be more of the same as they start this drive. Ball out to the 35-yard line as they come up for first and ten. In motion comes Beckham. A run up the middle with Mostert. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Play fair. 
Now two of the throw. And he finds Tyree. And he will go all the way. Tyree Hill. Touchdown Miami. Now Sanders on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Dolphins go up by seven. It is now 17 to 10. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. First and 10. They'll start on the ground with Cook. And they'll gain about six there as it's up past the 35-yard line. They'll work now on second and four. From the shotgun, it's Allen. And he does it put it away, and the ball's out. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. I feel like we see this so often, Mike, especially with how good these receivers are after the catch. They're so eager to pick up that extra yardage. Sometimes they don't completely put the ball away, and with how good these defenders are at knocking it loose, pretty fortunate on that one. His teammate was there to prevent that from being a turnover. Quickly to the outside, and complete. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, He's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Third and five. Cooper going in motion. To throw again, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. You know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete, brings up fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. Tyreek Hill getting ready for this next drive along with the rest of the Miami offense. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in the first half, it's resulted in a big play that is borne out by those eye-popping numbers. In motion, it's Waddle. And the defense snuffed that one out. It goes down as a completion, but no gain on the play. Well, you can tell that the defense had seen that play on game tape, and they were ready for it. They tried to do a little jet sweep pop pass out of the gun. Defense was all over it. Nowhere to go, no gain. Here's two and out on second down. This throw right side is caught by Hill. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. 
We see so many wide receivers in today's NFL that almost resemble more of a running back style. When they get the ball in their hands, not only are they able to pick up big yards, they're able to fight through tackles and make people miss. That's an element that a lot of offenses are searching for. It takes a lot of pressure off the quarterback. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Greg and I back in Buffalo after this. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Here's Tunga Bailo. Now a screen set up for HM. Ah, they smelled the screen and took care of it. Blown up in the backfield. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and it results in a negative play. A throw on the move is caught. They need to get it to the 27. This is third down. Throwing again. It's Tua. And this is going to be incomplete. That is a letdown there. Pass look to be on target. No catch. And now fourth down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield. And now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. And he pushed it. No good. That is wide to the right. And this is going to remain a one possession game. And this is the danger of trying these long field goals. Remember, Mike, if you miss, the other team gets the ball at the spot of the kick. So it's going to end up setting them up for great field position as they start this next drive. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Here's Allen to throw. Off balance throw. It's complete. Second and seven. Cooper going in motion. From the gun, Dallin. He's got a nice downfield. It's Shaquille. And he will score. A little Shaquille. Touchdown, Buffalo. Here's Bass now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Bills will come back to tie things at 17. So back to level after the touchdown. And time for the kickoff. Washington now to return it. He's brought down right at the 25 yard line. The Dolphins offense and Tua Tagovailoa making their way back out. He's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. On first and 10, here's Tua. He'll find Mostert out of the backfield. So there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to accept. Number one, the traditional handoffs. 
Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection, and maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing. Out of the gun, Tungle Bailoa. Nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. The Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. They get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to play in this first half. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Here's a handoff to Mostert. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough. It's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Jake Bailey now, as he's on to punt for the second time. This brought in out past the 20. And how about that? Nice return there, picking his way up past the 35-yard line. The Bills offense going to take over here in the last minute of this first half. They'll start out first down and 10. Out of the gun, here's Allen. Back over the middle to his tight end, Kincaid. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Little throw. Open man, that's Amari Cooper. And he'll be taken down with that hard game of business inside the 30 yard line. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time. Results in a nice first down pickup. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Tyler Bass on to try the field goal. It'll be a 44-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. Get three here late in the first half to take the lead. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports Studios and our halftime report. We were treated to a solid first half of football by the great quarterback, Josh Allen. He connected on a touchdown pass in that first half, and that's a big part of why his guys lead at the break. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback Set to take the field once more. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and we will try to sustain it here down the stretch. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. On first down, here's Tungo by lower to throw. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. They'll try again. It's second and ten. 
He'll run straight ahead with Mostert. And he'll take this up to the 30. Uh, pick up a five. Here now, third and five. From the gun, here's two. He'll be forced to just blow that one away. It's incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. This one fielded out beyond the 25. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Bills offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and 10. They managed to get two, maybe three on that carry. Play is made on defense by Jordan Brooks. here is Hollins they go play action now here's Allen a very quick throw there but not on the same page with his target that's incomplete the whole idea of that short pass is designed to get the ball into the hands of the receiver in space and let him do the rest after the catch but the key word there Mike is get the ball into the hands of the receiver he doesn't secure the catch so there is no run after on third down, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. And a fair catch is taken and is just inside the 20-yard line. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. In motion comes Beckham. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. Second down, it's two. He's got room past the 35. And he'll be taken down. And Mike, I think as they try to find themselves clawing back in this game, they're going to have to make a concentrated effort here in the second half to continue to get him involved. Give him opportunities in space with the ball in his hand. And chances are, when he has it, good things happen. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll fake the hand. Now, Tua. To the left side, OBJ is there. They hook up again, second time on this drive. And this one's good for 18 yards and a first down. Odell with a nice catch, Mike, to move the chains. And me personally liked the decision to sign with the Dolphins this offseason, and he had a chance to go join one of the most explosive offenses in the NFL. There's going to be a lot of space for him to use his veteran experience to get open and maximize. He's got speed everywhere around him, and he just gives Tua one more reliable target. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Two 
Tua to throw again. This one caught at the four. And he goes out of bounds at the three. And from there, it's going to be first and goal. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up the first down. Hill brought in motion. Here's Mostert. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Raheem Mostert. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Sanders here for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Dolphins have taken a four-point advantage. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. Johnson now to return. And a solid one back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Bills offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll do so with first and ten. On the ground, it's Cook to start this drive. And a minimal gain here, only to about the 31. Here's second and nine. From the gun, Josh Allen. Throw is caught by Cooper on the right side. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath. And they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big one. He's got the hook up there to Cooper. It's a pickup of 12. Good for a Bills first down. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level, and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball. Everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties. Make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. Here's second and two. Whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So they come to the line for first down and ten. Gonna give it to Cook. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's a second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target.
Third down, three to go. On third down, they go with Cook. And he'll be stopped at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. Tyler Bass on to try the field goal. This one from 52 yards away. And this is no good. Could not get it on target. And they are not able to draw closer. You know, the hardest part about these missed kicks, Mike, is for all the guys that work so hard to put the ball in position to come away with points. You kind of trot off the field. You're hoping that next possession has a different result. Raheem Mostert and the Dolphins heading back onto the field. The lead sits at four. So he'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. He'll get this one out to his fullback. He'll try to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. Defense strong up front. They're going to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. They'll come up to third and three. Play action. Tuggle by Lola. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Really nice job with the protection up front. Just nobody could get open downfield, so it's a combination of... Your offensive weapons have to do a better job taking advantage of that time to work and separate. But also, how impressive is that by that defense to be able to cover for that amount of time? And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and we'll come out to the 20-yard line. The home team's offense back onto the field for their next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Here's Allen to throw. That's caught left side by Cooper. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Cooper going in motion. On play action, Allen. Open man downfield, it's Kincaid. And it will bring him down on the other side of midfield. What a luxury. There's certain teams when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. Here's first and ten. Run out of the gun with Cook. Not much happening there. Just a short game. Man in motion here is Hollins. Play action. It's Allen. And good work there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. I'm not sure there's any position on defense that's undergone as much of an evolution as the linebacker position. In the old days, they were the physical tone setters. They were the tacklers. But now, it's their ability to hold up in coverage, like you saw there, that allows you to keep those guys on the field for all three downs. On third down, it's Josh Allen. Knocked away downfield, incomplete. He made sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop sets up fourth down. 
What did he tell us in our production meeting this week, Mike? He takes such great pride in his coverage abilities, and after that play, it's pretty clear why. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Dolphins offense and Raheem Mostert heading on to the field. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Off play action, it's Tua. He'll get this one to a safety valve, complete. They face second down and seven. In motion, it's Waddle. On second down, Poster. And they're going to bring him down, but there is a penalty marker on the field. Shotgun snap to two. That's taken in by HN. Third and nine. Out of the gun, Tungo Bailoa. Start is swallowed up to force fourth down. When you can win so fast as an edge rusher, you put so much pressure on the quarterback to speed everything up. He can sense that pressure coming either from his front or backside. It either speeds up and leads to an errant throw, or in this case, it leads to a sack. Punt team headed out for the Dolphins. As he'll hit this from just outside of his own goal line. Brought down after a short return, and that's where his team will get possession of the football. The home team's offense ready for this next possession. They'll begin just shy of midfield with a first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Allen. And they'll take this down inside the 35. They'll gain 17 on that one. A very quick first down. So, three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Allen. Pressure gets there. And down he goes. That's the rookie out of Penn State. Chop Robinson in for the sack. When you look at Robinson, what you see is a guy who really has a lot of upside remaining, Mike. I don't even think he has completely maximized his physical skills. I mean, he's got great explosiveness. He's raw, sudden movements. He creates a lot of chaos when given one-on-ones. Led Penn State last year with forced fumbles. He's a guy that could get even stronger at the point of attack. And I think Miami has themselves a guy with a lot of upside and a lot of room to grow. From the gun to Dallas. He'll find his running back, Cook. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Oh 
to throw is Allen. What a run, he brings it to the red zone. Taken down inside the 20 yard line. You certainly can't fault the secondary here. The coverage was almost too good downfield on third down. The quarterback realized quickly there was nowhere for him to go with the ball. Decides to become a runner. He's able to pick up the first down and some. On first down, it's Allen. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. They go play action now. Here's Allen. A short throw caught by King Page. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. That's a really important pickup there on that last completion. Not only does it set up first and goal, but allows everybody in the huddle to just take a deep breath. We're no longer in this frantic offensive possession. Let's get our best play. Let's make sure everyone understands what to do because we know we need to finish this off with six if we can. And now being first and goal is going to go a long way in allowing that to be possible. Ball right on the five-yard line, second down and goal. sway the outcome of a game and no bigger play than a pick deep inside your own red zone the visitors offense and Tyreek Hill heading back on the field they'll see if they can put something together here beginning with first and ten handoff here to start the drive but this will end up being in reverse he's going nowhere and a lose yardage on that play at this stage in the fourth quarter great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do they're trying to bleed the clock shorten the game they completely sold out to stop the run able to take them down for a loss they give it to Mostert only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. From the gun, here's Tua. for them to try to close this game out. They will get away from that one, and they're going to have tremendous field position. This ball hits and goes out of bounds. So Allen and the Bills getting set for their next possession. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long and he's brought down after a gain of six on first down they'll come up now for second down and four now Allen taken in by Shakir Taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Allen. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. 
incomplete. Nice job there by the defender. He's able to break up the pass, but I think if he's able to get there just a little bit sooner, now you can get two hands on the ball and give yourself a chance to come down with an even bigger play and come away with the pick. Defenders to jump. They'll stick to the ground. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Well, there's not a whole lot of fancy going on here, Mike. This is just kind of old school, line up and run smash mouth football. It's exactly what they did, but it still ends up in a big game, and he picks up the first down. First and 10. Man in motion here is Hollins. That's complete right side, Chicken Cage. Give them 17 more, and they are on a roll. Another first down. Really nice throw there. The ability to throw the ball out on the perimeter. Yes, arm strength and all that, but it's also timing. Now, Mike McDaniel unhappy with the last call, and out comes the challenge flag. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around, he has control. So that's what the referee is looking at here. So a smart decision on the defensive side to use the challenge here. This winds up as an incomplete pass. A throw there on second down, going to be incomplete. When you air it out like that on these big shots downfield, they're not always high percentage plays. It takes a lot of things to line up timing-wise, location of the field, accuracy of the throw to result in those big plays. But I think they've got to continue to search for those and try to generate a little bit of a spark. On third down, it's Allen. He'll try to run for it. What a run. He brings it to the red zone, taking down inside the 20 yard line. Well, at this point, it just gets frustrating for the defense, right? I mean, you've been watching this guy make big play after big play all game long. Not only on the quarterback designed runs, but it's the scrambles that can really break the back of the defense. And we saw it again here. Man in motion here is Hollins. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Second down and eight. From the gun, Josh Allen. Throw left side, but that's going to be incomplete. He couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. Big play coming up. This is third down. Here's Allen. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, taken in over the middle. First down, a great job looking at it, gauging where the marker is, and getting there to set up first and goal. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. The defense has had no answers up until this point, and now the next step is can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. First and goal, the quarterback thinks he's got a shot to take this one in himself. I think he's just a little late in his reaction and decision to turn into a runner. Defense has just enough time to get there. They stop him short of the end zone, second and goal. From the two now, 
Here's second and goal. They'll run with Cook. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. It's up and good. And the Bills go up by three. It's 27 to 23. that fourth quarter touchdown time to kick it back the other way on the return is HM and he stopped at the 25 the drive will begin then the Dolphins offense ready to get back at it this one has been tight so far a field goal separating the two sides this drive kicks off with first and ten sending it deep for Waddle That'll be banged away. Incomplete. Covered very strong defensively. It's second down. Really nice play there by the defender, Mike. He realized there was probably no opportunity to come away with the interception. Next best thing, get your hand on it, break up the pass, put an end to that play pretty quick. They'll run. Closer to first down. And more. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Remember this one thing. It is not how well or how often you run the ball in the NFL. It's when do you run the ball well in the NFL. And I think that's what a lot of these offensive play callers are starting to realize. Can you run the ball well in critical moments of the game? More important than how many gross yards you run for. That's over the middle. Caught by Tyreek. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They come to the line now on second and two. Hill brought in motion. They'll fake the hand. Half two. In trouble. Down he goes. Just went up. Time now becoming a factor as we get to third down. Two. Oh, that one not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looks like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, then become a run. And that's going to be incomplete. They had to take that chance. Trailing here in the fourth. But they will turn it over on down. The Bills offense getting set to get back to work. Have a short field, looking to build on the lead. The break, the huddle, coming up now for first and ten. Here's a handoff to Cook. And he'll only get down to around the 42. Two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment, look them up on a second down and eight. 
Once again, it's Cook. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down. second down. They'll keep it on the ground with Cook. And he's bottled up after a game of a yard. And now at 152, the defense will pull the plug there as they take a timeout. They need to get this to the 23. Here's third down. Man in motion here is Hollins. They'll drop to throw. One complete to Hollins. Nice job there defensively to keep him in front of the marker. It's going to bring up fourth down. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. Fourth down. Here's Allen. Complete, and they turn it over on downs. You give your offense a chance to close this game out. If they pick up the first down, this game is over. But now, after the defensive stop, we're starting to see some signs of life on that other sideline. This is first and ten. In motion, it's Waddle. Play action. Tango Bailoa. Sending it deep for Waddle. And he's going to be out of bounds. They mark him at the 35-yard line. It's a big play when they needed it the most. An even 40 yards. Defensively, you put so much effort about defending the middle of the field. You know that's the valuable real estate every offense is looking to attack. But what does that do, Mike? It makes you a little susceptible to the throws outside the numbers, and it leads to a chuck play. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. Moster. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. And what a start to this drive. A little bit of everything. First, you get the explosive pass to start it out, and then you follow it up on the ground, picking up good yardage. The ability to weave back and forth as a play caller, it just puts so much pressure on the defense. On first and ten, here's Tua. We'll find Mostert out of the backfield. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Here's second down. Tua. Now a deep ball toward the 